happy Sunday. <laughs> this is sort of a blanket reveal. I'll explain a little bit more when I remove the blanket off this baby. So I want you guys to tell me what you think afterwards in the comments down below. I'm just going to rip it off like a band-aid. <gasps> Ta-da! <laughs> No, I did not get a new baby. This is Haven. But um, this derived from a conversation me and Tanya had yesterday. Because she asked me, did I think about piercing her ears? And I said, no, I didn't want to do that at this time. Because if I ever wanted to turn her into a boy, if I ever had like the Joneses for a boy, I can do that. So, because if you saw my details video, I explained where the way this kit was painted it could look cute either as a boy or as a girl I had never tried it before this but after that conversation she was like try him you know as a boy you being a cute little boy so I said mm, let me see <laughs> but I think he actually looks super cute as a boy oh um, I want you guys to tell me what you think but he looks so handsome but I don't think I can keep him this way, though, because I still see Haven, and I still see Haven as a baby girl. But if I ever wanted to change her into a boy, I think it's doable. I think out of all my babies, that's the only one that I would probably be able to do that for. And then I had to go and dig for baby boy clothes because I packed all the baby boy clothes away in a box and I was going to give it away but I said no I'm gonna hang on to it just in case I decide to purchase a boy and now you know I have the Levi kit and that is definitely going to be a boy so I'm glad I hung on to the clothes and but I did that because I wanted to make room in the closet for my girl stuff my girls have a walk-in closet full of things oh my gosh it's like almost overflowing at this point I did organize it. I need to go back through it. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what happened. But um, I think she looks super cute, though. Oh, my gosh. But I can't keep her like this. I really can't. And something else I wanted to also do while I had you guys is on video. Okay, I'm trying to work out my lighting situation in here. I had to pull out the photography lighting just to try to make this video a little bit more clear. But um, I also have been playing around because I have an iPhone as well as a Samsung. And I'm going to put a side-by-side -side comparison in, video, um, in this video for you guys to let me know which one looks a little bit better. It seems just looking in the viewfinder that the iPhone is a little bit more true to color and that the Samsung is very saturated. You know, the colors are really exaggerated. But, um... Please let me know what you think also about that down in the comments section. But um, either way, she's going back as a girl though. <laughs> but Miss Tanya, I did try it out for you. And I'm going to send you some pictures as well. Um, just in case you don't happen to see this video. But I am hoping you guys are having a great Sunday. We have one more day in the weekend because it's a holiday weekend. And I am going to try to get my rest in as much as possible. And um, I just want to let you guys know that the meetup yesterday was so much fun. Um, this was my first time ever being able to make a meetup. I know someone had asked me before, like, how was this derived? How did this get generated? There's actually a Facebook group called the South Carolina Women Reborn Mommies. And there's also several different states or cities I know that are on Facebook. Um, so you can actually try to look up your area or look and see if there's other mommies in your area if that was something that you were interested in doing. I do recommend you meeting out with other reborn collectors in your area. It is a lot of fun. And it's awesome having a friend that you can share this hobby with that understands there's no judgment whatsoever. And then if you also have other things in common you can build a friendship off of, that is amazing. I really do recommend that. And the, with this group, they actually meet like quarterly and it's always been in Columbia, but they said next time they're going to come to the Charleston area, which is where I am, which is awesome. So I definitely want to make that one as well. So I'm hoping there is no type of scheduling conflict or whatsoever. But that is it for us for now. And until next time, we'll see you later. Bye.